everyone and welcome to WD18, the Watford Fans channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing Herelio Gomez's two-year contract extension, which takes him through to June 2019. The club announced yesterday that Gomez will be staying for another two years, and it's been ma mainly positive from the Watford fans, and I think that's only right, really. Um, Gomez has been loyal since he joined in 2014 from Tottenham, and without him, I don't think we would be in the same place that we are now. You may remember when, this is going to be his fourth season, so you may remember when we were in the Championship. We wouldn't have got promoted without him. Our first season in the Premier League, he picked up and saved a lot of points for Watford. And finally, last season, I think we probably would have gone down without Gomez. So I think it is only right that Aurelio uh, has been awarded a two-year contract. He is a good personality. We all know that. Um, he's a leader at the back. He's a great keeper. And the attrib his attributes, I mean, there's a lot of people that do give him a stick after after his time at Tottenham. And I think he has changed people's opinions. So, for example, um, we do we do know his kicking is very poor. Um, but if you look at his shot stopping, just a few to pick out. Remember, if you remember Steve Cook's overhead kick at the Vitality Stadium against Bournemouth I and mean, then him clawing it out the net, that was a standout. Um, Diego Costa's header against Chelsea. Uh, the double penalty against uh, Sider Berahino at the Hawthorne. So he saved us so many points in since his time at the club. So Watford released a statement yesterday saying, Watford FC is delighted to announce that goalkeeper Aurelio Gomez has signed a new two-year deal with the club. The 36-year-old has put pen to paper on a contract which takes him through to June 2019. And Gomez later went on to say on an Instagram post, um, in summary, that this will kind of be his last stint in professional football. He'll probably be retiring at the end. I don't know. I've, I've met him a couple of times just at the open days and stuff. And like he just seems like a really genuine bloke. I mean, I've, I've seen his Instagram and stuff like that post there. He's just a re he just seems like a really top bloke. Um, and in the dressing room, obviously, he's a good lead. He's got great. He's got great. He's got massive experience. To all those people who were negative about the new deal, um, you've got to look at what he's done for Watford. I don't. I think he he has changed the club in the sense that without him, we would not be in this position where we're experiencing Premier League football. And I would go as far to say that because he's he is a man uh, who has saved us points. Decided to drop down a level because he saw the project. Uh, presented by the Pozos and he knew that Watford would get back to the big time and I think all credit to him it took him one season to get back up um, and from there on he's been just a great servant for the club just got to look at this so he's gone on to make 115 league appearances for Watford since the Skybet Championship season uh, in 2014-2015 um, and this is going to be his fourth season at the club he won player the, play, Watford Players Player of the Season award two years running and he's played Last season, 33 out of the 38 Premier League games for Watford. I understand the people who are a little bit against it in the sense that they would have liked to see a new face in goal. Obviously, Gomez is 36. They're not going to last forever. And we will have to um, bring in a new goalkeeper at some stage. Whether Backman's that man, I will have to wait and see. I think Pat Tellingham will be off soon. He probably will be number one this season. There were links to us getting Neto from uh, Juventus. And re Patricio, I believe, from Sporting Lisbon. It was, like I said, paper talking in my transfer video. A lot of paper talk at the minute with Watford. Once again, I'm really happy to see him continue his, his time at Vicarage Road because he seems like he loves the club. He's so, just by that Instagram message, he is so grateful that Watford have given him that opportunity to show what he is really about. It, it was great to see him under Flores and, and, and Matt Sorry last season. Obviously, we did have a bad season, so he, he did have a lot of work to do. And... I think it could have been a different outcome if he wasn't between the sticks. So, yeah, I think, once again, really happy that he has continued his time at Watford Football Club. I hope you have enjoyed this style of video. It's, it's a kind of a little podcast. So if you'd like to see more of these short, kind of snappy uh, podcasts, then let me know in the comment section below. Remember to like the video if you did enjoy and subscribe so you don't miss any more Watford fan content. And I'll see you in the next video.